Most Milwaukee area schools went back to school last week, but a handful had a few extra days off. East Troy is among them. Michelle Fiore explains why students there were actually looking forward to going back. All right, guys, come on in. Let's take our seats, please. At Prairie View Elementary, students have a whole new classroom to explore. This is one of three smart labs for the East Troy School District, not to be confused with a computer lab. Uh, in a computer lab, you're probably not going in and working on circuitry. In a computer lab, you're probably not going in and working on simple machines or graphic designing necessarily. You might, uh, and you're probably not going in and working on broadcasting necessarily just alone. In here, you're getting exposed to a variety of different uh, content areas. Raise your hand if you've heard anything about the Smart Lab prior to the start of the year. Students are using things like Legos. A 10 year old boy built this and then made that crocodile come to life on the computer screen. Instead of just me telling him, well, this is how you do it, let me show you. He went forward and he watched YouTube videos. He Googled how to make his Lego We Do do something. And next thing you know, he's got a coded Lego product that is chomping Steve. <laughs> Two of the three smart labs were built over the summer. The third will be installed in East Troy's newest school to open next year, all at a price tag of $500,000. In East Troy, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. And other school districts in our area that had their first day back today included the Oak Creek Franklin Joint School District, Sheboygan Falls, Plymouth, Elkhorn, and UW Milwaukee.